everyone, welcome to Inside Wire. Today we're going to be continuing with our Ubiquiti series. We're going to be looking at the Protect interface and setting up and configuring a Ubiquiti G3 Flex. This Ubiquiti camera is packed with features. It has a wide angle lens, it has night vision and it has a full 1080p HD camera. This camera can be used both indoor and outdoor. It has a wide range of mounts from a wall mount to a ceiling mount, desk mount, which can be purchased additionally. In a previous video, I configured the UDM Pro with a hard drive, which was for recording. If this is something you want to look at, there's a link popping up on the screen now, and I'll also put a link in the description below. Let's start by unboxing the G3 Flex. This is the Ubiquiti G3 Flex. It comes in a clear cellophane wrap um, inside the box. So let's just jump straight in and open it. So inside the box, you can see that it comes with the camera at the front. One thing I would say about Ubiquiti's packaging is, I almost want to say they are Apple-esque. They take a bit of care in their packaging. So from their user experience all the way to from opening the box to setting it up is, a, is very thoughtful. So this is the camera. Inside the box, we have a quick start guide. So there's a QR code for a quick start guide. And on the back, it tells you about the optional mounting accessories um, that I was talking about at the start of this video. Uh, they're, they're, they can be purchased additionally. They have some, some more mounting options. It tells you about some outdoor mounting options and some indoor mounting options. These mounts are included inside of the box, which we're about to see in a second. So inside the box, there are two different mounts. There is this one right here, and there is this one here. So this is designed for the wall or pole. There's a couple of screw holes in the back just inside so it can be mounted against something. And there is this one as well. So this is the camera can sit on top of this one. It can be fixed to a desk. And also inside the box, we have the screws. So we have one, two, three, four screws inside and three plugs, depending on where you're mounting it to. There is one more thing inside the box. I'll just move these out of the way. There is one more thing inside the box, which is actually the zip ties. There's a couple of cable ties in inside here. So what you can do is when you mount this against the wall, there's a couple of slots in the back to mount it against a pole. So you can zip, you can cable tie around it to make sure it's secure. Let's just move these out of the way. And onto the camera itself. So this is the camera. Let's just take this out of the box. There you go. So on the front, you can see there's the protective film over the camera itself. So this camera can be moved up and down, depending on where you're placing the camera. It can be turned from side to side. So just because it's mounted in one position does not mean it can't move. It can be moved. At the back, there's a slot for where the mount goes, so we can just take this out. And inside here is where your connection goes for your network. This will not power up if you, unless you have a power over ethernet switch. If you don't, additional power over ethernet injectors can be bought to power this. There's a reset button on the bottom, so if it ever locks itself out or you need to reset it back to factory settings, there's a button at the bottom here. So let's pop this back on and let's get it configured and set up. Let's have a look at the interface. So just before we jump into the G3 Flex, I want to quickly show you. So if we go into the UDM Pro and then open up the network, just want to show you the devices that are connected. So if we click on devices, we have the Dream Machine Pro and a 24 port switch, which is power over ethernet. And the clients, we can actually see we have a couple of cameras that are connected, the two G3 flexes. So let's go back and click 
on protect. The other way to get to this is actually just to type protect.ui.com. So I'll quickly show you that. So that's protect.ui.com and that will load up the camera interface. Um, I have a couple on here, but we'll go through this in a minute. If we go back to here and we see the protect interface here, we have no camera setup at all. So the two cameras that are plugged in, what you would do is just click add cameras and then you can see the two cameras appear. So one of these cameras is actually on my studio. So we can we can actually click the plus button on here and we can give it a name as well. So let's call, so this one's in my uh, comms room. So we'll pop that one in there and I know this one is, I know this one is my studio camera. So this is the one right here. Studio. And we would just simply click add devices. And there we have it. So we have two cameras that are currently being adopted and then they will come online. So we can see they've actually popped up on here and we can see the motion in the studio was less than a minute ago because that's me. So we can go to the live feed at any point have a quick look at the image you can't really see much so this is just pointing against the box at the moment so you can't really see much but when you go into the live view you have the option to toggle between 720 or 1080 if you want the full image you can turn the microphone on and off um, if you want to listen you can take a screenshot you can full screen the image and then also you can look at the settings of the camera so we can look at the microphone we can adjust the brightness, contrast, hue, saturation, the sharpness of the image, the noise, um, auto exposure mode for lighting, for different lighting scenarios, the orientation, infrared, um, lens distortion correction, and high dynamic range. And then you just click done as soon as you've adjusted all those settings and we can close that out. So let's have a look at this front interface. So you can actually filter your cameras um, by type or even status. So close that, close that one out. Um, you can search for a camera, you can have the list view, which is what we have, or you can have the view like this. And you can additionally add devices manually. So if you know what you are looking for, you can actually add your devices manually and these are the different ranges of cameras that Ubiquiti do. Then on the left hand side we can see the live view. So we have no live views at the moment. If you have other users that are connected to the Protect you can include their views as well. So I'm just going to add a new view quickly. I'm just going to do one camera and we're going to call this test view. You can share it with others or keep it private. It's entirely up to you. We click next and I want the comms room that's going to be showing on here so we can see the comms room here and then we just click save and then we now have a view so if we want to create a second view we would just go to add view again I want four cameras this time and then we can add the comms room and we can add the studio in so we can actually have both at the same time click save and this is the view itself so that's the test view so we can flick between different sorts of views um, events we can have a look at the moment where it grabs all the motions and downloads them so if there's any movement at that point it gives you the length the time um, the time lapse or the download and then we have the time lapse itself so actually within here you can scroll it's not the sort of time lapse you'd expect it to be it's a it's a scroll through uh, the timeline of the camera recording so you can actually scroll through unfortunately I don't have too much time on here so I can't actually scroll through perhaps I will let this record for a little while and then actually show um, the scrolling action between it I have played around with it on other cameras and it is very smooth and very slick um, scrolling through you would also have little dots pop up on the right hand side where there was motions or any movement in the camera itself. 
So moving further down, we have all the users that we have set up. So this is the users. So it's myself at the moment, when they last logged in, what their privileges are and what roles are created. You can always add roles and add users to this. You can add by email invitation. So if I click invite user, you can see you just pop in their email address and what their role is going to be. That will then send them an email and then they can create a login to the cameras themselves. So you can share it with family, friends, businesses, uh, whatever you need to business owners or whoever you want to share it with and then we move on to account and so this is the UDM Pro we can create alerts on here um, so if I just click on here so within the UDM Pro itself um, you can actually get them to send you a push notification or email when the cameras are disconnected or connected and also you can actually turn on motion um, this one will probably be quite annoying if the camera is used quite often or if the motion is quite heavy on the camera um, to have push notifications or email notifications so choose carefully and save the right settings that you want and then let's last lastly look at settings so on the settings it, i think it's fairly uh, simple this part um, you have the mac address ip the uptime what the version is any change logs Again, we have the download of the support file. So if there's any further configure, further troubleshooting needs, that needs to be done, you can find that through here. Uh, you can configure time-based purge. So if we click on that, we can say, so the time-based footage deletes footage from your hard drive once it's reached maximum time limit. So we can say after one day, start purging all the data. Daily backups, again, you always want to keep a backup of your configuration just in case you need to replace your hardware or something goes down and you need to factory reset it. And we have the device password. And as I mentioned earlier, we have the other way we can access. So if we go to protect.ui.com, we can see that we have the camera so we can actually just launch the UDM Pro from here and it will take us to the same screen. So we can see we have our comms room camera and studio camera. I hope you found this video informative and useful. If so, give me a thumbs up below. Just a side note, Ubiquiti do have other cameras in the range other than the G3 Flex. They have the G4 range, which has 4K capabilities. If you want to see a comparison on these cameras, please let me know. Also, if you want to see more Ubiquiti products and other great tech, please subscribe to my channel. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.